revitkit.com. Uh, today is going to be a real quick tutorial and this is going along with our Revit family series. Instead of creating a new family today, I'm going to talk a little bit about using your family within the project and then in the next tutorials we'll create different families and start getting a little more advanced. So if you remember we created this coffee table in the last tutorial and we have some parameters here. So if I go to family types, we have our parameters. First I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can set up family types. And a family type is basically an instance or in this case a type, I shouldn't say instance because instance parameters are a little different. But it's basically um, the type of family um, within your family. And what I mean by that is you can you can customize each one of these dimensions per, per the type. And you can customize materials and all that stuff. So what I mean by that is I will show you in a second. If you click a new family type, we can say this family is going to be 18 inches by 18 inches by uh, let's do 12 inches high. So now we know it's 18 by 18 by 12. So in here I'm going to type 18 by 18 by 12. Click apply. Now you can see we made this little teeny guy. Um, now if we wanted to create a new family type, you can do this within your project as well, but sometimes it's nice to do it within the family if you already know all the sizes. You can call this one 24 by 24 by 24 inches by. Oops, let's cancel. 24 by 24 by 24 inches high. Now our width is going to be 24. Length is going to be 24. Height is going to be 24. Click apply. You can see there's our little box. So now if I click to this type and click apply, you can see our dimensions automatically go to that type. So it's sort of saving your parameters to how you want it. And this is really where you get <clears throat> the most bang for your, for your buck out of Revit. So if I click OK here, I've had two families. I have the family saved as a name. Now I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to file new. The computer's a little slow because I'm actually producing one of the other videos. Um, new project. Click OK. So now it's just creating a new Revit project. Doesn't matter the template right now. For the sake of this tutorial, it's just going to load the default template. OK, so here's our. Here's our Revit template. It's not responding. Still not responding. Okay, so here's our Revit template. And if I select in the windows, you can see I have my family, and here's my project. I'm going to take my family, I'm going to load it into the project. So now I'm back in the family editor. I'm going to say load into project. And now you can see my family on the left hand side here. <coughs> and underneath the family, you're going to see the two types I created. So here's my 24, here's my 18. And I can actually place them in my model. So I'm placing them there. And now with the click of a button, I can actually change this to my 24 by 24. So if I go in 3D now, you'll see here are my family. And the nice thing about parameters and setting this all up correctly is while you're in your project and you don't have this way you don't have to go outside of the project every time, once you create it correctly, you can actually go in here and you can create new family types. So if I say duplicate here, I can say this one is going to be 48 inches by 24 by 24. And we're going to say the length goes to 48 inches. Click apply. Click OK. And now you can see I have a new type here. So if I click this, <clears throat> I can very easily select my three types. Here's 24. And you can see all the different types. So that's a real quick rundown on family types. Um, the next tutorial we'll get into a little more complex families. Maybe start uh, looking into different types of dimensioning and just more complex geometry.
So I hope this helps out and look forward to the next series.